The aluminum mint tin is an absolute mainstay in Maker projects. Its sturdy construction and ubiquitous availability have adapted it from television remotes to electronic survival kits. In today's weekend project by Mike Cruiser, we'll use two mint tins to create a literal survival tool. A mini camp stove that works with denatured alcohol, solid fuel tablets, or wood chips and twigs. You'll need the following parts to build this project. You also need the following tools. We'll start by building the pot stand. Trace the bottom of your pot onto the bottom of the tin. Drill three holes as equidistant as possible within the circle. Place the three short ends of the Chicago screws through the holes and secure them in place with the nuts. But make sure there's enough thread to secure the long side of the Chicago screws. Next, we'll make the fuel support mesh. Use tin snips to cut a 13 centimeter by 9.5 centimeter square from the painter's mesh, and then cut a two centimeter square from each corner. Fold the four sides down 90 degrees so it forms an open box shape, and then fit it into the large tin so the folded sides support the mesh. The small mint tin is what we'll use to hold our fuel, but first we need to seal the hinge holes. Cut a one by four centimeter piece of aluminum from a soda can. Use JB Weld to attach the aluminum strip to the inside of the small tin so the hinge holes are covered. Use binder clips to hold the pieces together while the JB Weld cures. When the JB Weld has cured, you can cut the slot for the wick. Using a rotary tool, cut a slot in the lid of the small mint tin. The slot should run roughly two centimeters long by two millimeters wide. Cut the top and bottom from a soda can and split the remaining aluminum from top to bottom. Cut one 1.8 centimeter strip crosswise and another 6.5 centimeter wide strip. Fold the 1.8 centimeter strip into three sections, each one two centimeters long. The final third should be folded into a corrugated or zigzag pattern using a pair of needle nose pliers or table edge. Then the whole piece should be folded over so the corrugated piece is sandwiched between the two flat pieces. Fit the wick into the slot you cut into the small mint tin. The wick should slide all the way to the bottom with a short bit sticking out the top. Cut a thin strip of cardboard, three millimeters wide and 22 millimeters long, and fit this into the aluminum wick. This will soak up the alcohol and make easy work of lighting the stove. Your camp stove is ready to use. This tiny stove is designed for use with a number of different fuels. To use denatured alcohol, fill the small tin with the alcohol, close the lid, and then ignite the wick. For solid fuel, you will need to experiment to see if it works best directly on the mesh or in the small tin with the lid open. To burn wood chips or twigs, place these onto the mesh layer and replenish the fuel as it is consumed. Happy camping! If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.